Right, uh, in this question we are talking about there's a trial one of an, uh, in the trial one of an experiment, block one of mass m is oscillating at the end of a spring and the other end is attached to a wall, friction is negligible and oscillates with d naught amplitude. When trial to a block, another block of mass m is kept on the, at the top, top of m and this system is also oscillating with uh, um, uh, with an amplitude of d naught and this is the floor floor is frictionless so we need to compare the maximum speed and maximum kinetic energy in case two trial to compare to trial one all right we know that v max is given by a omega right that's the formula for the horizontal mass spring system you don't have to worry about a because a is the amplitude which is just d naught in both the cases so v max is given by d naught omega and what is the formula for omega? Omega is root k over m, right? Root k over m. Now, v max in trial 1, v max in trial 1 will be d naught root if the spring constant is k and the mass is capital M. And v max in case of trial 2 is d naught root k over the total mass is 2m. So obviously this proves that the maximum speed is definitely in case two lower or in case one greater because there is a two being divided here. So the ratio will decrease. So it's greater in trial one, greater in trial one. So it has to be either option A or B. All right, now uh, kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is pretty straightforward. Kinetic energy is given by half mv square. So kinetic energy in it's maximum kinetic energy, right? Yeah, maximum kinetic energy. So Ke max in case of trial one is half capital M uh, V max square of case one. And we already have V max of case one, right? Uh, v square this entire guy. So uh, let me put it here, D naught root K over M whole square. So if we square this, it will become D naught square and radicals will disappear, so it will be k over m, and m and m will be cancelled, so it will be half d naught square times k. That's for one. All right, uh, what is for two? Uh, for two, I'm gonna do the same activity, except that this will be replaced and this will be replaced. So k e max two will be half, be careful with the mass because it is now two m, and velocity is d naught root k over two m square. So this will be half of 2m times d naught square times k over 2m. These 2m term is gone and we are left with half k uh, d naught square. This is the k max 2. Clearly both are equal, right? Both are the same values k d naught square over 2 and d naught square k which is same as k d naught square over 2. So it has to be equal in both trials. So it has to be option B. We could have used another formula uh, over here, which might have been more straightforward because the uh, because the to maximum kinetic energy in case of a horizontal spring mass system is obviously given by half, is also given by half m omega square x square. That is one formula and is also given by half k a square half k a square. If you see, this automatically boils down to half k a square, right? Because a is the amplitude, which is d naught. So this is actually the formula for the maximum kinetic energy. And obviously one of the formula is just what we use, the regular formula, which is half m v max square. That's the other regular formula that we have used. But we could have used this right away. We, could, we should have concluded that is equal in both the trials. But yeah, okay, now you know both the methods. So that's how we do this question.